Welcome to Grades of Green's adult learning series, your free resource to learn more about climate change and how to bring climate action to your community. I'm your host, Jack Magner. In this module, you'll investigate how our food choices contribute to the climate crisis and what solutions you can bring to your campus. By the end of this module, you'll be able to identify how food production impacts the environment and contributes to climate change, implement food-based climate solutions in your classroom, and discuss how food is an environmental justice issue. Part one, food and the environment. Everything about food, from how it's made to how it's transported, and ultimately what the food is itself, has an impact on the environment. Food requires significant resources to produce. Growing crops at large scales and raising livestock requires significant space and resources. Creating the space requires deforestation, which disrupts native ecosystems and wastes environmental resources that are key to mitigating climate change itself through the power of carbon capture. By tearing down these mature trees, plants, and ecosystems, carbon is released into the environment and a vital environmental filter is eliminated. Once food is grown, more environmentally intensive activities follow. The harvesting, packaging, transporting, preparation, and consumption of food requires energy-intensive fuels and materials. Throughout each stage and facet of our food systems, we create emissions that contribute to global climate change. While it may feel difficult to meaningfully reduce the carbon impact of your diet, there are several easy changes that you and your students can make to help the planet. In this section, we'll cover a few ways that your food choices can mitigate your individual climate impact, as well as covering larger scale mitigation strategies that you and your campus can deploy to make the food system more sustainable. One important step campuses and individuals can take to mitigate the impact that industrial agriculture has on global welfare is actually pretty simple. Eat less meat and meat byproducts. The meat industry has one of the largest carbon footprints, with the grazing demands of livestock requiring some of the most extensive amounts of deforestation to operate. It's also extremely water intensive, with one pound of beef requiring roughly 1,800 gallons of water. To meet these demands, greenhouse gases are emitted, contributing to climate change. According to the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization, global livestock production contributes to 14.5% of global greenhouse gas emissions. Thus, eating less meat is a crucial step to the long-term health of the planet, and replacing just one serving of beef per week for a year saves the same amount of CO2 emissions as driving 348 fewer miles in a car. School campuses as microcosms of society are well equipped to help instill these habit changes on campus and in students' lives. By teaching ethical consumption and taking on a Meatless Monday campaign, school districts can greatly reduce their impact on the environment, spend less on environmentally and costly food items, and teach proper environmental stewardship for a sustainable planet. School nutrition programs not only have a great opportunity to further educate students on healthy eating, they can also provide expanded learning and engagement through local or on-site campus gardens. Food also contributes to climate change at the end of its life cycle in a major way. When food waste is not properly managed and stored somewhere with limited oxygen available like a landfill or a dump, it breaks down into short-term pollutants that rapidly warm the atmosphere like methane, black carbon, and hydrofluorocarbons. Luckily, schools can help reduce food's climate impact after it becomes food waste. Districts should engage in productive conversations with parents and cafeteria staff about sustainable dining options while establishing proper materials management practices through campus waste sorting, excess food donations, and composting. Ensure that your campus is in line with local waste laws that may require all food waste to be diverted from the landfill bin to the organics bin in both the kitchen and end user disposal systems. By setting up a lunchtime waste sorting system, including a share table, and by establishing an edible food donation system, campuses are well situated to eliminate their negative impact on the environment through food waste. Additionally, establishing on-site compost systems to capture eligible vegetable and landscaping scraps can help make caring for the environment second nature to the whole school community. Check out Grades of Green's Uplift page to learn more about how your school can establish organics recycling and food waste diversion programs using our handouts, trainings, and sample materials.